Williams has finally announced that James Vowles, the now ex-Mercedes chief strategist, as the replacement for Jos Capito. He will take up the role of team principal on the 20th of February 2023. This move was a surprise, as James was an important member of the Mercedes technical team and a part of Toto Wolff's inner circle. But what does the move mean for Williams, and does the Mercedes team have a replacement for James? The end of 2022 was filled with several twists, as about three team principals got reshuffled, and the Williams team also saw their team principal and technical director call it quits. The reason Jos Capito and Francois Xavier de Maison suddenly called it quits in December remains unknown. Still, there was speculation that it was due to some confusion in the team as regards to whether or not Doralton Capital, the owner of the team, wanted to sell. Since the team's performance wasn't impressive either, they probably had no reason to stay. Another source said they had been coaxed to leave. According to the report, Doralton Capital had realised that things needed to change in the team and they needed new people to get them ahead. Capito was quite experienced in F1, but his time with Sauber was about 20 years ago, while he only spent a few months with McLaren. He had more experience rallying, but Doralton realised they needed people with better F1 experience. Besides that, he was also already 64, and according to calculations, it would take the team about 5-10 to 10 years to get back to the top, and he wasn't the man for the job. Williams teams' performance over a while now has been quite heartbreaking. The team, which is the second most successful team in history in terms of Constructors' Championships 1, has yet to perform well in recent years. It has been last on the table for four years and hasn't won any race since 2012. It has yet to finish on the podium since 2017 and scored only 8 points for the 2022 season. However, it would be unfair to say Capito did nothing for the Williams team. He joined the team in 2021 to make a difference and to rebuild the team. But then, the team principal, Simon Roberts, left just a few months later, and he immediately took up the role as the FIA required it. He did his best to change the team's working style, but was met with resistance and could majorly move departments from working in silos. When Capito called it quits, the Williams team had not been quick to announce his replacement like other teams whose team principal had to leave were. It was said that they had considered around 10 people, but Vowels came at the top after thorough scrutiny. Once they decided they wanted Vowels, Doralton Capital didn't hesitate to make their intentions known, and within a month they already had a deal, and Vowles reached out to Toto Wolff to inform him about the offer. According to Vowles, Wolff found it incredibly good and was genuinely happy for him. Vowles is certainly the man the Williams team needs to get ahead. He has gathered recent F1 experience and earned tremendous success by working with a top team, Mercedes. Another thing going for him is that he's young and suitable for a long-term project. Vowles has spent 21 years years at the Brackley-based operation. He joined when they were still British American Racing and remained there when they were Honda, then Braun GP, and now Mercedes. The outfit won nine Constructors' Championship titles during his time with them. In recent times, his role expanded from being just a strategist to having a say in the overall future direction of the team. Unknown to him, he was training for the future. With so much experience gained from the Brackley-based operation, he will be able to do a great job at Williams. He's already used to doing his best to succeed, so it will be quite easy to use that same method. Many think it's a chance for him to test himself in a high position for the first time and build the skills that will ensure he's with Williams for a long time. If he can do well, he'll become very attractive to other teams if he does decide to move. Although some are skeptical that his move to Williams mean that he has lost his will to win due to the team's previous and recent records, Vowles responded that he has gained the ambition to be a part of Williams and help take the team back to its glory days. I'm incredibly proud and excited to join Williams Racing in just a few weeks. Williams has such a strong and rich heritage. I feel privileged to be a part of this team and hugely motivated. Across my career so far, I've had my fair share of failure. However, I've also been fortunate enough to share in great success. I haven't lost the hunger, ambition or desire to win, but rather gained the ambition to build this journey with Williams. Vowles also used that opportunity to thank the Mercedes team for the opportunity. He also said he was excited to see the Williams team's 2023 Challenger fire up for the first time. 
I wanted to take this opportunity to thank Mercedes who have been hugely supportive. I leave after 20 years on excellent terms and I'm grateful for everything Toto and the team have provided. With the season around the corner, I can't wait to get started and I look forward to the emotion that I'll feel when the FW45 fires up and drives out the garage in Bahrain for the first time. This is not the first time the Williams team has hijacked a member of the Mercedes team, but this time is absolutely different as the Mercedes team was not ready to let vowels go but had no choice to do so. Paddy Lowe was the man who last left Mercedes for Williams. He had joined the Williams team as chief technical officer but left a few years later on not so good terms when the team needed more time to get a car ready for the start of 2019 testing. Although Lowe was a top member of the Mercedes team before he moved on, it was said that Toto Wolff had wanted him to leave. But this is different for Vowles, as Wolf would have much rather he stayed on the team. Vowles had played such an important role in the Mercedes team and had even been one of Wolf's trusted allies. His departure had been a blow to the team, not because they would be unable to join the team, but because of their close ties. The Mercedes team boss mentioned how Vowles was a valuable team member and how much he'll be missed in the team when the new season starts. But he wished him well in his new endeavour and revealed that he had no desire to hold him back. He's been a massive contribution, not only to what's happening during the races, but also to the global strategy of the team and Mercedes Motorsport in general. The next step is something that James deserves. Within our organization, for him to move up, I would have needed to move aside, and I feel there's something left in me and that I can add a contribution or that I can contribute. Many assume that Vowles has left a huge gap in the Mercedes team, but that's untrue. Mercedes has a succession plan that they've had in place for years. Wolf knew that it was unrealistic to hold onto the best people forever. Despite being a top team, it was normal for people to have plans to get ahead, and they as a team wouldn't be able to stop them. Wolf also knew that rivals would want to poach his team members because of the no-blame culture and clear career progression pathways he created in his team. As for Vowels, the Mercedes team boss revealed the structure they had put in place. He said that despite Vowels being part of his inner circle, he realized that the team was quite dependent on him, which was not safe. So, a nine-man team was created, and Vowels was teaching them the ropes, and soon he passed the reins to them. There is no gap left behind. For many years, we have discussed succession planning in this area. We have been very reliant on James's ability. With this, we emphasized a few years ago how that would continue if he decided to do something else, within Mercedes or outside. He continued by explaining how James went about teaching his successes the ropes. James was very good at setting that up. We have an extremely talented team of strategists. We have nine people, some very senior that are only sometimes on the front line, and some that have grown within the organization. They have flown the airplane now alone in the last six months, and before that, already very much just under James's supervision, so I feel very comfortable in the structure going forward and not that suddenly a big weakness has been created. Williams and Mercedes have always had a good relationship but they were now becoming cordial in recent years. Now, with Vowels being on Williams' team, the relationship will become much better. But what do you think of Vowels leaving Mercedes for Williams? Be sure to comment down below and let us know what you think. Thank you very much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and we'll see you next time.